What's going on, Coins Burritos? Thanks for joining me for the show. How's it going? We are looking at Polygon Matic M A T I C on that ticker. And been a pretty interesting crypto to look at. Now, we have had extreme pullbacks out of most of the altcoin and crypto space, but specifically, this type of huge sell off is not necessarily super common, but we have been starting to see it a little bit more. And like we typically talk about on a lot of analysis, we say take the stairs up and then either the elevator or whatnot down. So that's a very common scenario for what we see right now. And obviously a little bit of consolidation flag pattern and then continuing on in the downside direction over the last couple of days. But anyway, we are gonna be talking about some downside support targets and what we can expect here from downside action, since likely right now we are still seeing a little bit more downside, but we do know that we do have a lot of support based off of previous price trading, which is exactly where we're starting to see the price line up with right now. So first, if we actually want to look at the level of support, it's pretty much exactly where we are right now. We're looking at a support coming in right at 0.591, so 59.1 cents. Next below that would be 57 cents, and then plenty of supports below that. Following that, we would be looking at a very big support point coming in right at 53.9, effectively the 54 cent mark. And then lastly, we would be looking all the way to the downside about the 50 cent psychological mark. So the whole point here is that we do have plenty of supports to the downside. So even though we have actually seen this bearish break, we actually do have a lot more supports to be looking at to the downside. And then if we go ahead and look at volume, you can see we're actually not looking that significant for volume to the downside. It actually has been pretty steady and constant ever since we actually did put in the current trend high, which did come in at a high of 1.29, so $1.29 for Matic here. Now quickly kind of want to look at the technicals first here and essentially talk about how we actually did see bullish divergence here as we did look at a pattern slowing down. And then also similarly right now, after also finding oversold levels here, we actually are finding now lower lows and lower closes and that's evident, but still we are looking at RSI being above this 30 line. So we actually are getting a little bit more of this bullish divergence as we do see prices head to the downside. So it still could be a little bit more of a good and bullish sign, especially as we do look to find supports down below here, down to the 50 cent psychological mark. Obviously, from a current price point of about 59 cents, that could still be a pretty pretty significant potential pullback. And so, if, for example, if we look at percentage wise, that would still be about 15 percent to the downside. So not necessarily super abnormal out of crypto. And then obviously from this most recent pullback here, we've already seen about 22. So another 15% down to the low side, but not necessarily expectations for hitting that level. One thing though, is that when we did actually run up, we kicked off in between 12 and 26 period EMAs and then found very nice resistance on the 50 period EMA here as well. So the flip side to that though, is that now we're gonna be looking at this whole level pretty much coming in at a top side resistance point, especially since zooming in on this most recent daily trend. You can see we've already established it as a resistance point and then also found it as support as well. So a very relevant level that is coming in at 64.7 here. And so ideally, especially with the peaks of volume here actually decreasing for sell pressure, likely again going to be thinking that we should be able to find support here stabilizing and finally finalizing a, a little bit of a bottom here, kind of probably what we actually expected back in the fall. Don't really think we're going to get that same type of pattern where we actually get a drawn out period for a couple months here. I think what's going to end up happening is a little bit more of a V-shaped type recovery. So when we had our big pullback after last summer and into the fall, big long period of accumulation before actually starting this trend all the way to the upside again. I think right now we're a little bit more likely and probably more of a realistic scenario of finding a bounce and then starting to kick off once again, I don't necessarily think we're actually going to see a big, long, drawn-out taper. And I think probably, even if we do see a little bit of price stabilization here, what we actually could be looking at and expecting for that type of move is kind of more along the lines of a bounce and then probably a little bit of stabilization before heading back up. So I think when we do find our low and our bottom, it'll be pretty quick. And I do expect probably a little bit of dip buying and accumulation at that point before finally seeing a little bit more upside move and rally. Now, <clears throat> overall, we have seen a bit of a pullback for Polygon Matic, and right now we're looking at a total pullback of about 55%. So even not necessarily the worst for what we have seen out of a lot of altcoins, we have seen altcoins down into the 60s, and it is still a little bit higher on the pullback end since we have seen cryptos and altcoins pull back from about 30 to 40 percent, and obviously 50 to 60% is a little bit on the higher end. But still, like we said, 
having a longer term pullback is definitely not abnormal and out of the picture. And if we actually go ahead and look at a Fibonacci retracement based off of the low last fall, we're looking at a retracement coming in below the 78.6. So potential to actually get down to a full retracement and break that new lower low. Ideally, we would have loved to have seen the 78.6 hold up, which would have been at 66.9 cents. Didn't happen, so not necessarily the best sign of strength right now in this instance for Polygon Matic. And that's why right now it's not necessarily one of the most strong names in terms of L2 solutions here. Which so, yeah, I want to actually go ahead and look at some of the longer term charts, specifically the weekly first here. Now, not necessarily the best sign, especially since we had the most recent rally that couldn't even put in a new high over when we actually had February of last year. So overall, a longer term tightening range. And so it really needs to happen in terms of a bullish action for Polygon Matic is actually seeing these lower supports hold. Ideally, we would love to see maintaining of the support point above 50.1 cents that would actually maintain a longer term higher low here. And then actually from there would need to see a lot of bullish upside action to actually top out the high coming in at 129. So if we can see a new price high on top of that, then we would be looking a little bit more bullish. Otherwise, we are still very much in the pattern and setup for seeing a lot more of this longer term consolidation drawn down. And then from there, ideally, when this happens longer term, we would see a little bit more upside unless we actually do see a lot more bearish pressure and a lot more support coming in like we talked about for some other L2s here. Now, this is going to be Polygon Matic's second big bull cycle anticipated that we do expect to see. And typically, a lot of cryptos don't necessarily perform as well on the second cycle. So definitely no guarantees that we would actually run up and see new higher highs and all time highs here, especially given the most recent price performance from current prices, though, that would be a pretty significant rise and increase, which would be over 400 percent. So about a 5x from current prices. And personally, I don't think 5x is a an unreasonable expectation for a lot of cryptos and altcoins at the peak of the bull cycle. So definitely potential to actually see that new all time high. But ultimately, that kind of is one of the reasons why we actually need to see a big break on top of a lot of these previous heart lines of consolidation here, because right around the 85 to one dollar level is going to be an extremely big resistive point. And I expect that even if some of these supports hold. That is going to be a pretty big point that we're going to need to see the bulls push through and then redefine as a big support level. Because even on the most recent time, we actually lost that fairly quickly. So once we actually had our consolidation establish this level as a nice heart line, even ran up and broke prices, leading to a high of 1.096, then we actually did pull back, smash that to our current trend high, but then immediately lost it and actually had a pretty big pullback without even finding any sort of support or reprieve at this level so kind of a bummer that we actually didn't find any sort of support at that level around 85 cents and that's why now we do have plenty of resistance points up overhead most significantly right at the 76 mark and then above that would be 85 and then up to one dollar so plenty of resistance up overhead especially since now we are below a bearish cross on the exponential moving averages on this weekly chart now looking at some technicals here for the weekly specifically rsi and stochastic rsi and we do have the rsi retracing below the moving average here and still trending to the downside but we have current rsi right now for the weekly coming in at 37.13 so still a little bit of room to go before breaking oversold levels on this weekly but we do know we are trending in a price direction that is leading to that now, if we look down at the bottom for stochastic RSI, we are well below the 20 line here and trending a little bit lower. But last time we actually saw the stochastic RSI in this region and in this level, especially below the 20 line, was right when we were establishing our bottom before the most recent longer term trend. So we could be looking at the potential for that being a little bit of a sign and guidance as well, especially if we can get a little bit of a bullish cross on it, then we could see a return and establishment of the support level and actually get a little bit more bullish upside in return to that because that is definitely what this is type of indicating. But overall, none of these oscillators are science. And in fact, they actually just follow what current price is doing. So can't rely on them too heavily. But obviously, we do know at some point we do have to see a return and a bullish cross of this oscillator back to the upside above this 20 line. So overall, Maddox's been pretty slow, and this pullback structure kind of highlights how it's not necessarily one of the stronger L2 names right now. And I think there's definitely a lot of work that the bulls need to do if it can return above the $1 psychological level and maintain support on top of that level, then we would be looking extremely strong. But until that happens, nothing really is going to be looking extremely impressive on this chart as of yet. 
But as always, would love to hear everyone's thoughts, comments, questions, issues, predictions, disagreements, all that stuff down below in the comments sections. And yeah, feel free to reach out over on Twitter as well at coin underscore trades is the handle over there on Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it. But otherwise, that is going to go ahead and wrap up the show for today on Polygon Matic, M-A-T-I-C on that ticker. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe button. Do appreciate all the continuous love and support. As always, it does mean oh so much. Stay safe, take care, everyone, and I'll catch you back in the next video.